subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today we'll try to learn the examples of phylum porifera phylum porifera also known as sponges now first a trick to learn the example of sponges sponge asked where are the pores and the reply is on all your sides all is for spongilina spongila your is for you spongia and sides is for sicon so so pores is for porifera all spongila your you spongia sides sicon so example spongila is your fresh water sponge you spongia is your bath sponge and sicon is also referred as sypha come to the characteristics of phylum porifera now most of the sponges are marine they have a asymmetrical body means the body cannot be divided into two equal halves at any plane and have a cellular level of organization means they are made up of cells that carry out the various functions they are not further they do not further form the tissues or the organs porifera or the sponges have a water transport system or a water canal system as pores are present on all its body the water enters from the outer part into the body of the sponges through the pores present on its wall called as ostia so water enters into the body of the sponges through the pores present called ostia this water enters into the central cavity that is known as spongio seal and it moves the water moves out of the body through an opening called the osculum sponges have pores in, on throughout their body through which water enters the water then enters into the cavity that is spongio seal and moves out through the osculum now through during this process gathering of food respiratory exchange and removal of waste occurs means the water transport system helps in digestion respiration and even excretion also by the help of water transport system reproduction occurs or it also helps in reproduction coanocytes or the collar cells they line the cavity of the spongio seal they help in the movement of water and food Now the body of a sponge is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules now these are the spicules also known as the spongin fibers that provide support to the sponges sponges are hermaphrodite means they have both the male and the female gamete they reproduce asexually by fragmentation means if any part separates 
it has the capability to form the new organism and they reproduce sexually by means of gametes where fertilization takes place inside the spongiocele that is fertilization is internal and the development is indirect means it has a larval stage which morphologically differs from the adult now it is development occurs inside the spongiocele and this is the larva which is different from the adult sponge and it later grows into the new sponge so these are the characteristics of phylum porifera that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching